Zamboni Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. I want to give you some tips on how to do your emotional work. Now, I know that a lot of people experience being numb. I know a lot of people experience not able to access their emotions. Okay. And then there are other people who are constantly in their emotions. You know, it doesn't take anything for them to be activated and all of a sudden they're crying or feeling really hurt or sad and having a big emotional breakdown. Okay. So the thing about doing the true emotional work means that you are feeling something authentically. You are not emoting. You're not making a bunch of noise crying out loud, screaming and raging or whatever, you are actually truly embracing and feeling the emotion, okay? Now, for people who are numb, you are um, a little bit challenged because you've learned how to numb out your emotions. When you were younger, you did have emotions, okay? But you learned how to push them down, to deny them, to rise above them, to avoid them. So now you're having to relearn how to do your emotions. So for people who are numb, um, some of the best ways are to use your life, use different situations where you do get triggered, where you do feel activated, where you do feel an emotional reaction. Okay, And you can do things like watch a movies that, that do make you feel some kind of emotion, read, a, read some books that actually elicit some of the feelings. Sometimes hearing about other people, you'll have an emotion. The key is, is that once you do have an emotion that you can feel, you want to do your best to surrender to that. That means to soften into that, that feeling. People that are numb, it's going to take a practice and, and intention. And, but ultimately, in time, you will start to get back in touch with your emotions. Okay, so the, the key to all emotional work, though, is the surrender. When we are emoting, what that means is, is we're making a lot of noise. We think we're feeling, because we are, but we think we're really doing our inner work, but we're not. As long as you have a thought, you're not in your subconscious, you're not unraveling. If you're in your story, if you're aware of your surroundings, you're not, you're not accessing the subconscious, you're not actually unraveling and unwinding and clearing some core emotional wounding, okay? The key to unraveling your emotional work is you have to go in to the feeling itself and become that emotion so fully that there is nothing else, you are nothing but that emotion. You're not even aware of your surroundings. You don't even know if there's another person around. You have no concept of anything. You are that emotion so fully that nothing else exists but that emotion. When you are in it in that way, what'll happen is, oh, a little thought will come in, a little distracting thought. But the moment you listen to that thought, you're no longer unraveling core emotion, okay? So the key is when you're in a feeling state, become that emotion so fully that there is nothing but that emotion. It'll come in waves. You have big, big releases and then you might have some thoughts, but keep coming back in to that emotion. Once you are in that feeling state, once you have uh, grabbed that feeling by being triggered from something externally, by something in your life, a person, event, situation, or even a memory that causes you to feel, once you're in that feeling state, the key is just keep softening, relaxing, relax the body, relax your muscles, soften, surrender to that emotion again. You're becoming that emotion so fully, but there is nothing else but that emotion. The key is when you're in that deep state is to be aware that if a thought comes in, uh-uh, no, let it go. Let it pass right through. Memories come through. Let it just pass right through. Do not grab hold on to anything. Let the emotion just keep moving. It's like this ma major experience where the body is releasing and when you're in that state of surrender, you are accessing the subconscious. So memories of the past, memories from past lives, core emotional wounding starts to come to the surface. You know, that heartbreak and heartache and deep, deep, deep emotional pain, it, it comes to the surface. Sometimes you'll feel like you're going to die. You'll feel like you're going to go crazy. You feel like 
you're going to get stuck in this emotion and never come out of it. Okay. These are all fears, you know, the ego fears, because we don't want to shift and change. The ego wants to survive and live. And what that means is if we go into these emotional states, the ego part of the ego is going to be gone. It's going to die, fall away. Okay. So a lot of fear comes up. But I promise you, you're not going to go crazy. You're not going to get stuck in it. You never, it'll be the never ending. Okay. You're not going to die. But the key is keep going through it. I've had experiences in my world, in my life, where I thought, oh my God, my heart is going to shatter. And it did shatter. I felt it. I thought I was dying. I kept going through it and magic happened. Okay. So I'm not going to lie to you. It gets really intense. It's very uncomfortable. It's very painful. Emotional pain hurts. Duh. Okay. But if you face it, surrender to it, go through it, open your heart, pull your soul consciousness in, make sure you're here, conscious and present, opening the heart, allowing yourself to go through this excruciating pain, surrender to it, no thoughts, no mind, complete surrender. And when you come through the other side, you will be changed. You will be different. You will be more you. So doing your inner work, your emotional work, your core emotional work is really intense. It's uncomfortable. It's painful. And it changes our lives. Okay. Now, coming back to people who are numbed out, back to people who have, you know, found the way to never feel, you have to make a commitment to yourself. You, you're the one who has to have the willingness to take action, to do your part, to do whatever you can to activate your feelings. Sometimes it does mean doing something where you're moving your body with intention, okay? Maybe you get a bat and you have a punching bag, or maybe there's a pillow, you know, maybe on your bed or whatever, but you use your body <clears throat> to get these emotions going. Once they start going, the body just takes over. When the body takes over, then you are actually unraveling core emotions, when the body is just doing its thing, it might be crying, it might be raging, it might be screaming, it might be falling on the floor, sobbing, it doesn't matter. The body has taken over, subconscious energy, emotions are coming up and out of the body, leaving you, leaving your subconscious. And then what happens is, is the, the real you, you start to feel your more authentic self, you're starting to feel getting in touch with, okay. So the core emotional healing work is vital. It's paramount in your soul's evolution. I'm just going to remind you, if you don't know this, that if you don't unravel these emotions, you'd be carrying them into the next incarnation. They don't just go away. You have to face them, unravel them, know them. This is why I do know thyself so that we can unravel and face these places that you've not been able to do before. So my book, The Way Back Home, that book, literally teaches you how to do your inner work. It has step-by-step, -step, every story is true and real, real people, and the outcome that they experience are all true and real. So if you haven't read that book, you might want to, The Way Back Home. It's how to do your core emotional healing. And it'll have all the guides step through, step-by-steps on how to do everything. Be sure to like this video and check us out at spiritualacceleration.com.